got a year to live, Sam. I'd like to make the most of it. So what do you say we kill some evil sons of bitches and we raise a little hell? It seems on-screen brothers Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles feel right at home in Australia, with Jensen hamming it up for the crew last time he was here. So, what is it about Aussies and Texans that make us bond? I know Jensen was here, he got along really well with Australians. I've, I've shot two movies here, and I think Texans are just pretty laid back, like Aussies. You know, like one time I was in Australia shooting House of Wax, and I went to a bar, and someone came up and they were like, hey, aren't you that bloke from Gilmore Girls? And I was like, yeah. Like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm um, shooting a movie. Like, cool. They're like, want to want me to buy you a beer? I was like, I'd love one. They're like, all right, here's a beer. See you later. It wasn't like, so introduce me to your agent or give me some money. It was like, he bought me a beer. He wasn't like, so you're rich. Want me to, you know, what are you going to buy me? It's just kind of laid back and relaxed. And, you know, I love Australians. I don't want to go to hell. We'll find a way to save you. Oh, you hear that, Sam? He doesn't know anything. It's the yeah. chemistry between these actors that has been a big part of the horror series' success. And the only person that can get me out of this thing is me. And me. I'm surprised that we haven't had more visitors from the other side, seeing as how much we deal with, like, you know, the, the witchcraft and the demons and the exorcisms. After four series, will Supernatural be destined for a new life on the big screen? We'd rather do a good amount of seasons and then maybe end with a movie, you know, for the fans and for just to wrap up the story. There are a lot of things also that we'd like to do for Supernatural that we can't do on television, so to speak. So um, we'd love to release a movie, but, you know, that's all still very, very early in talks. Either way, the boys have picked up some interesting skills along the way, including Latin. Should I? Send him someplace you can't hurt anyone else. I'm going to send Corzio Infernalis Adversari, I'm going to send Legio, I'm going to send Corzio Infernalis Adversari. Yeah, Jared's much better at it than I am. I think he actually took some Latin in school, but I, I, I never did, so... Uh, luckily, his character gets to do a lot more than I do. I, I just sit there and, you know, shoot things, um, which I'm totally fine with. Don't move. It's, uh, we have a doctor, a Latin, we call him Dr. Latin. He comes in and he, he teaches us how to say the, the correct thing and, and, you know, what we're actually saying. And so we're able to be able to put some acting with the, the correct pronunciation, but it's, uh, it's not easy. Uh, Any favorites? Uh, Winnie Wiki. Came, I saw, I conquered. Right? Vinny Vidi Vici, they say, but in Latin, you're not really supposed to say V, you're supposed to say W, and it's a good motto. And also, of course, Carpe Diem, you know, which kind of goes hand in hand. Thank you, you're being very kind. Thank you.